Every December, in honor of International Human Rights Day, hundreds of thousands of people around the world write letters on behalf of someone they've never met. Amnesty International's global Right for Rights campaign puts the spotlight on 12 cases involving people who need our help. The letters that pour in from across the globe help pressure government officials to release people imprisoned for expressing their opinions. Stop the use of torture, commute death sentences, and end other human rights abuses. This year, Art for Amnesty is bringing artists into the effort. Twelve artists have partnered with Art for Amnesty and Write for Rights to create art installations reflecting the 12 international cases featured this year. On December 12th, thousands will join us for a free one-day exhibit in New Orleans to view these works of art and get involved in the 12 cases. One of the cases highlighted this year is that of Albert Woodfox, who has been held in solitary confinement for over 40 years. Mr. Woodfox is one of the Angola Three, who each spent decades in solitary confinement. He is the only one who remains in prison. In June, a U.S. district judge ordered the release of Woodfox from state custody. But the decision was blocked when Louisiana Attorney General Buddy Caldwell appealed. In July, New Orleans artist Brandon B. Mike Odoms Partner with Art for Amnesty to debut a 25 foot mural depicting Wood Fox and listing key facts about his case. Louisiana has become the prison capital of the world, imprisoning more of its citizens than any other U.S. state. Louisiana's incarceration rate is nearly five times higher than Iran's and 13 times higher than China's. The Art for Rights exhibit will debut the powerful works of these artists who are committed to human rights in a 30,000 square foot warehouse, drawing thousands. In addition to the 12 Right for Right cases, the artists have also created works that speak to the problems of mass incarceration, abuse of solitary confinement, and gun violence. The goals remain the same, to inspire participants to take action and write letters. Because volume matters. 54 years of human rights activism shows the power of the collective action of our members and human rights defenders around the world. When millions of letters are sent, we have the power to change lives. Join us this December as we amplify the call to end the human rights abuses highlighted in these 12 cases. Let the individuals and communities featured below know that you support them. And that you are taking the injustices committed against them personally. Visit right.amnestyusa.org to get involved. You can also follow us on Twitter at Art for Amnesty US. And join the conversation using the hashtag Art for Rights.